most amazing bookshop in the world. Good morning, it's Thursday. It's probably going to rain. <laughs> it's probably going to rain today. Where should I go? Sit here in front of the cow. Woo! It's probably going to rain later today. We want to go to Liverpool, which is about an hour away, but we think we're going to do that tomorrow on our last day because it's not going to rain and there's nothing quite so miserable as a city in the rain. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Today we're not entirely sure exactly what we're going to do, but we think we're going to head up to, where are we going? Morecambe. And just take the day from there really. Go to Morecambe and then maybe go to other places as well. Maybe no Lancaster, no not. plans. Yes, maybe Lancaster, oh, maybe not. People want to go to the beach, beach. but it's not going to be warm. So we're going to just see where the day takes us, get some lunch whilst we're out. I've got my new trainers on, let me show you. New trainers. These are from Shoe. Yes, Phoebe's annoyed with me because I'm wearing my new trainers this morning and she wanted to wear them. Because her trainers have got a speck of dirt on them. Anyway, they're from Shoe. And I really like them. I always wear little white trainers. And I wanted to spend a bit more money than my usual 50. Have I got stickers on them still? Oh yeah. Uh, so these are 25 quid, which I thought was quite good. And they're very comfy, although wearing them out and about is a bit nerve wracking. So I have put my other ones in the boot. How's that nerve wracking? Well, because they might hurt. It's a risk. We are here at Morecambe. It's a lovely place. Looks like it's going to rain. Hello. 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 I am pooped. I was kept up half the night because I've done something to my back. I don't know when or how, but I seem to have pulled a muscle in the upper sort of left side of my back underneath my rib cage. Every time I move, something pinches and it really hurts. So. I think I was up from about two o'clock in the morning to almost five. Eventually she fell asleep. Been complaining. I have been complaining. I've taken paracetamol, then that didn't work. So I had to, I ate something and then took some ibuprofen. That seems to have worked a bit actually. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just really, really tired. And as a result, I'm really, really nibbly. As in, what? I want to nibble things, I like to eat things. So I might have to go and find interesting things in, to eat in Morecambe. Also worth noting, I am a big fan of Morecambe Ow. and Wise, famous comedy duo. And quite famously, there was a statue in Morecambe of Eric Morecambe, which we visited before when Phoebe wasn't even here. And Lily was about 18 months old. So we're going to go and see oh, that boy, as well. Boy. in the world. I think Lilia might move in here.
don't have haven't found anything to rub my back. We had a lovely lunch at the Clock Tower Cafe on the seafront before walking to the Eric Morecambe statue and here you can see tributes and quotes set into the ground around him. Eric Morecambe was one half of Morecambe and Wise, a comedy double act of whom I'm quite a bit of a fan and in case you're unfamiliar I'll link underneath their famous breakfast scene which is extremely silly and there's a couple of dramas you can watch, uh, Eric Ernie and Me on Amazon Prime and an earlier one called Eric and Ernie. <laughs> Those glasses are fake, there's no lenses. He lies. We headed up and down the seafront browsing some lovely eclectic shops. The girls both fell in love with 60s style boho bell sleeve tops in this shop. They didn't buy them though. Leaving Morecambe, we decided to head a little further north to Kirby Lonsdale, a pretty market town on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales. The route was so pretty that I decided to leave the camera rolling as we drove through the village of Whittington. So relax and enjoy the drive for a minute. wearing a coat this makes me happy it's raining this also makes me happy we're in Kirby Lonsdale which is Yorkshire Cumbria one of them um, which is pretty and we're gonna have a little wander around in the rain <laughs> it's a proper little market we're looking for the Sweets. Or a tray of <laughs> In Kirby Lonsdale we wandered around the market and the little shops and then we had a little walk around the town. We walked along Salt Pie Lane, which I found out afterwards is actually one of the highlights if you're walking around Kirby Lonsdale, but we just came across it and we walked along here just because it looked cute. And I'm so glad we did because, well, just look at it. It's just so pretty. And I had serious front door envy at this point. Look at that yellow door. Just taking off the new shoes. They've done me well today. They've got me round. Morecambe and Kirby Lonsdale and they've been very comfy. I put my iPad next to the router to see if I could upload the first of my holiday vlogs. Let's have a look. Uploading. Zero percent. Well, that's not very good, is it? Does that mean it hasn't worked? Processing. Oh, that means it's uploaded. No, 
Doesn't look like it worked, so I'm going to leave it for another half hour and see if it's working. If not, I might have to upload it when I get home. I've swapped my posh new trainers for the old grimy ones because I'm going to do a bit of a walk. We've had a lot of food and drink the last couple of days, more so than I ever normally would. So I feel like I need to get out and walk it off a bit but nobody else wants to there's a reservoir down here I'm not sure how far it is and I'm gonna see if I can walk there and back should take me under an hour and I might feel like I've actually done a bit of exercise <laughs> so I thought I'd bring you along with me for a little walk in the Lancashire countryside we're just coming down the this road it's kind of a footpath I think but it is tarmacked so it must be for vehicles maybe just farm vehicles it's farms down here the cottage we're staying in is just over the hedge there don't know if you can see it then so the sheep that we look at are just in this field past a man picking blackberries. If it was a few days ago, I might have picked some. We could have had a blackberry crumble one of these nights. Oh, people coming. And suddenly, we're in the middle of civilization again. Houses galore. I thought I was the only person in the world for a while there. There's chickens in there. Bunnies, pigs, chickens. <laughs> Slightly regretting my decision to wear jeans. I'm boiling now. Should have worn my shorts, should have known better. Still 10 minutes from the reservoir, I haven't got to walk back yet. It's up here, but I've run out of pavement and it's quite a busy road and it looks like the wall's going to be too big and for me to see over. So I think this is where I turn back. <sighs> back we go. <laughs> It's just starting. Just got caught talking to myself in the middle of nowhere. In some ways it's a bit harder in quite a quiet place because you look a lot more peculiar if you're talking to yourself. Whereas if you're in quite a public place, there are a lot of people doing peculiar things and you don't really stand out. Anyway, I was just about to say, it's just started raining. It's only drizzling and it's rather nice because I am hot because I'm wearing jeans. Cause I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm nearly back now. I'm going to be back on the main path that leads straight back to our cottage. Um, <laughs> got caught again. <laughs> I think I'll just shut up.
Oh, look at my hair. <laughs> I look like I'm in an 80s rock band. Right, let's see how we did. Just stop me watch. End. 50 minutes, 4.36 kilometers. And I burned 334 calories, which is probably just the very tip of the iceberg for the hot dog that I had for my lunch today. But I feel like I've had a really good explore. I feel good and I'm going to get changed out of these jeans and then go and start cooking dinner. If this is your ideas for things that do work, it's what we do in the kitchen. Well, I don't remember that I do this in the... Are you going to try your local beer? Yes, I am. It looks nice. What is it? Boland Brewery. Boland Brewery. This is the Hen Harrier, 4.5%, so stronger than I usually have. But it's a spectacular golden pale owl. This was from Booths. Booths. Out of a giant wine glass, because there's no beer glasses. <laughs> yeah, if any of you like rent out properties, um, make sure there's always a pint glass. UK or American size, so doesn't really matter. Well, the UK one is bigger, but... How can a pint be different sizes? Because it just is. What, is a different size in America? A, a pint measure in America is slightly smaller, yes, than the English ones. Ours is 454 mils and theirs is slightly less. I know that from when we went to New York and asked for a I pint of beer, it was about was half the size. 500 mils? No. Huh. Same as pint of milk, 454 millilitres. Which is why there's 2.2 pints in a litre. Going off subject, I'm going to try this. Yum. Yeah? Very nice. Mmm. Let's top this bad boy up. <laughs> Dad? Thank you. Finished on my studies. Just love. I practice love when I'm watching the store. <laughs> Bam! Started to fold some clothes already. I can't believe we're at that stage of thinking about going home. It's gone so quickly. I bought this book in that amazing bookshop. You would have seen me pick it up earlier. It's an old edition of Rebecca and I love it when I find an old book that's got an old inscription in it. Now, help me out here. To, to Kathleen with best wishes for a happy Christmas from Somebody Savage. Christmas 1948. What's that name there? Hmm. Let me know what you think. I love reading a book that I know has been read before. And the man in the shop said, if you can tell me the first line, I'll give you a discount. And I knew it was last night I dreamt, but I didn't know the rest of it. So I didn't get a discount. He did throw in a couple of bookmarks. I have no idea where they are. They might have fallen out in the car. <laughs> anyway, I also bought this postcard, which is of the old Pier Bookshop. Because I just love the style of drawing. So I'm going to stick that in one of my sketchbooks as an inspiration sketch. I've just been out to the car. I've dropped them in the car. Those are my little bookmarks. <laughs> he was lovely, the guy. He was a real book person as you might imagine in that marvellous bookshop that was like something out of a story and um he he was able to sort of reel off all the names of all of the Daphne, Daphne du Maurier books and he said if you like Rebecca then you need to read her short stories and blah 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 he was really really lovely and the dog that we met um that Phoebe was stroking we met her uh met the owner and she said that the dog's name was Sherlock Bones. Meanwhile, Lilia bought 
an old copy of The Wind in the Willows and she's been reading it all afternoon and she's loving it. She's really, really enjoying it. So she's she got a bookmark as well, so you can see where she's got to. All the beautiful old illustrations. Mm. I'm going to have a bath and wash my hair and sort it out a bit. The girls are in the hot tub, but I, I don't fancy a hot tub. I want a nice bath. And I saw that bath when we arrived and I thought at some point this week, I'm going to have a bath. So I'm not going to take my new book into the bath, obviously, because it would ruin it. I'm not going to take the book that I brought on holiday with me, which is the lollipop shoes, because it's not my book. I borrowed it from my friend Suzanne, so I'm not taking that in the bath. But I saved something that arrived in the post. So here, this arrived a couple of days before we went on holiday and it is my Inside Crochet subscription. My mum very kindly got me a year's subscription to Inside Crochet for my birthday. So, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this one hand. Hang on. This looks good. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm looking forward to reading that. And look, the little free extra is a year of granny squares. 52 original motif patterns. Oh, Lilia will like that now that she's into her granny squares. <gasps> oh, look at these. Oh, right. I'm going to take these into the bath with me. I might take a little glass of something cold and refreshing as well. An update on your earlier comments about there being no point glasses, Dan? It's quite fun drinking out of this. That's a Brewdog Punk IPA, which is a standard staple favourite of mine. Now that I've drunk my fancy stuff, back to my standard Brewdog out of a large wine glass, which, on reflection, is a decent glass to drink out of. So, are you converted to drinking beer? It looks like, like one of them... Oh, glasses. Yeah, yeah. Like I wouldn't say I'm a long tongue convert, but well, you know, whilst on holiday, I may, you know, <laughs> make more flamboyant choices in my <laughs> drinking vessels. <laughs>